Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Christian Ortiz here with Mod Atlas Media and Mod Atlas Restoration. If you've been hanging out with me since I started this channel, then you know that it's been four years since I've made this restoration, but it's one of my favorite photos, so I just wanted to reshare this video and talk a little bit about it. Uh, also, to remind people that I'm still doing restorations with Mod Atlas. This photo is called Pinball Soldiers, and it was taken May of 1941 during the height of our Prohibition era. These soldiers from Fort Benning are in a country store near Phoenix City, Alabama, which borders Columbus, Georgia, right over the Chattahoochee River. The photo was taken by Jack Delano, and one of the prints can be found in the Library of Congress, but thanks to some of my connections in Georgia, I found out that it was located in Phoenix City as well. The original picture sells for about 500 bucks, and I thought I'd add a little more value to it by being the first to colorize it. This pinball game they're playing is called Exhibits Contact. It was created in 1939. The Contact Pinball Machine, created by the Exhibit Supply Company, is sometimes believed the first game featuring back glass animation. This innovation included a big plane that flies around, showcased through the back glass light animation, marking a significant advancement in pinball design and technology of that era. I just thought it was one of the coolest things ever. It's important to note though that there were at least one earlier example of back glass light animation in pinball history exhibits 1938 basketball. So let's talk about this photo for a second because it takes place during an era that I find extremely, extremely interesting. From the era of prohibition in the 1920s through the early 1950s, organized crime bosses bribed local and state law enforcement to ignore Phoenix City's public intoxication, gambling, and prostitution. A 1954 report by the U.S. Army's Criminal Investigation Division stated that the small town had more per capita incidences of venereal disease and violence than any other city in America. Now indeed, when General George S. Patton was stationed at Fort Benning during World War II, he publicly threatened to cross the river and flatten Phoenix City with his tanks. Hollywood censors prohibited scriptwriters Daniel Mainwaring and Crane Wilbert from mentioning prostitution and venereal disease, so they instead emphasized the public menace of gambling and the brutal methods used by mob bosses to enforce their interests. If you want to know more about this entire situation, I'd highly recommend you look up the Phoenix City story. It's really interesting looking back at my photo restorations like this, just to look at the methods that I used and the tools that I used in Photoshop. Today, Photoshop includes features like AI, and it was way, it's way too advanced compared to what it used to be. When I was editing this photo, as you can tell, or maybe can't tell, I was using the polygonal lasso tool simply just to highlight all of my subject areas from the letters uh, to all the details individually so that I can get in there and use my brush tool and different layers to go over and making the shadows and the different colors. And I wanted to make sure that I did my research before doing this restoration to figure out what were the popular colors, both with the arcade game and the military outfits back in the day. So I had to do a lot of color matching with a lot of historical photos that I found in archives down in Fort Benning, which is now Fort Moore. Anyway, I'm gonna let you get back to the video if you wanna continue watching how detailed my editing actually gets here when it comes to restoring and colorizing an image with so much detail. If you have any questions or you need any tips on best practices on how to do this within Photoshop or any other software, feel free to contact me directly through my website at www.modatlasmedia.com. Until next time, have a wonderful day and we'll see you soon.